What's up, everybody? It's Man Man here, and welcome back for the next episode of Let's Play Super Paper Mario for Nintendo Wii. In the last episode, we found this strange dimension, and it's called Flopside. And now, in this episode, we are going to be finding the fifth, the chapter, five, yeah, the fifth heart pillar, and we're going to begin on chapter five. Now, let's just go ahead and, oh yeah, and you see that guy right there in the orange? That's the guy that you need to see if you want to build a pipe between these two dimensions and you know just make it easier for yourself to come to this dimension so that's the guy that you're going to need to see and, you know i think that the chapter five heart pillar uh no we can't do that yet see that big block right there we can't we don't have the hammer in this game yet and, you know you're gonna get the hammer in this game and um like you're gonna wait i don't wait okay no enough for the hammer uh, let me just see like I do not, I seriously do not get this part at all. It's just right there. Like, what, what is the purpose of that thing? It's just standing right there, just taking up space. I mean, and it's not a heart pillar. I don't think it is. So it's just right there. Okay, you know, I, I already forgot where, um, Norlim said that the heart pillar was. Or I'm just gonna call him Merlin the second. He said it was one floor up. You know, let me just... Flip back to the 3D, and let me just go one floor up. Oh yeah, it's like you're beginning every single heart pillar all over again. I think it's the same locations as the heart pillar from flip side. You know, I always have trouble just finding the heart pillars in this game. And you know, flip side is like everything's reversed, so I'm guessing that if you want to go up, that the floor is right over here. And I am guessing that instead of this way, the heart pillar will be over here. Please let me be right. Please let me be right. Yes, I was right. Okay, now here we go. My favorite part of the game. All right. Okay, and now we're just going to have to go all the way back here to flip side. But, you know, I'm just going to use the return pipe. You know, th that's a weird thing. Like, every single time you use the return pipe, it no matter what dimension you're in, it returns you back to flip side. Oh, my God. Weren't you downstairs or something? Like, how do you get all the way up here? Go back downstairs to where you came from. But, you know, I'm just going to use the return pipe. Yep. I'm going to return all the way back there so we can start on Chapter 5. It's been a while, but we're finally here. So now, let me just... Oh, wow, Merlin is just right there. You're back! I'm feeling better now. Let's go. Let's get going. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. There is... There is, wait, this is no time to stay in bed anyway. And I... I want to be near Mario. Ooh. Then I will not hold you back. These good people will surely need your knowledge. Heroes, please take good care of Tiffy. Oh, well. Don't worry, Merlin. We're going to take some good care of Tiffy. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, just playing. That's what the game is making it sound like. But anyway, still worried about Tippy's condition, Mario and friends opened the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts. But in imminent in, wait, imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an at an alarming pace. God, that word just messed me up. It messed the whole thing up. Would Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick would Count Black and his goons come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling every with every step. All right, chapter five, one. Downtown of Crag. Okay, and you know this chapter five, one actually it sort of starts out like the. Like the Super Mario Bros. 2 series, and you know, um, you know, with every single character that you play as, um, they will have a different dialogue for every single character. 
And, you know, me being the person that I am, I'm going to be checking out the dialogue with every single character. Yeah, you know, I, no, never mind. I'm not going to check out the dialogue for every single character. I'll probably just put that in the end of the episode. You know, I'm probably not going to do that at all. So, it starts out like the Super Mario Bros. series where you're just falling from the sky. So, and then this is the part where Mario falls or whatever character that you play as. Um, You know, the only characters that are from the Super Mario Bros. 2 series... And this game were like Mario and Peach. Well, actually, Louis, you get to play as Luigi, but he's not in Chapter 5 yet when you play up to Chapter 5. So, it's just basically Mario and Peach. And, you know, it's too late for me to start reading this now, so I'm guessing that they think Mario is a threat, and so they're just taking him away. And I probably should have read that. Where in the world are we? And what are you guys? And what are you things? Okay, you know. It is way too late for me to start reading this. And I'm sick and tired of reading. I'm pretty sure y'all know how much I don't like reading. So, like, hurry up. And you know, yeah, I'm, this is where I'm going to start reading. Uh, t t terrible, bruh. King Crocus return. What? What? What is Kragen's kidnapped? Please, Kragen's need hook up, bruh. Servants of Big Brock, a Big Rock, who watches you? Heard that? Oh wait, so I'm guessing that we're in the Stone Age. I think that Chapter Five is basically like you're going back in time to the Stone Age or like a Dimension Stone Age. You know, this game is called like. I'm guessing that the whole plot of this game is just going into different dimensions and stuff. I can't believe I just now figured that out. Oh yeah, and another thing that I want to talk about is that how Nintendo stole one of my ideas again. Um, you know, basically, well actually they didn't technically steal my full idea, it's just that they're, they're making a new game, I just heard, um, read about it now on E3, uh, Nintendo E3, they're making this new game, it's called Mario and Luigi paper tragedy I, I forget it, it has something to do with paper and basically it's what when the worlds of paper mario and the mario and luigi series collide you know i'm guessing that this is their version of a fourth paper mario game since like after oh my god this guy i just attacked him he's still just gonna walk on oh my god and it just interrupted me okay but you know i'm guessing that this is the fourth paper mario series since i'm I'm guessing that people thought that they stopped at Paper Mario Sticker Star. You know, they really should make a Paper Mario game for the Nintendo Wii U. And, you know, basically, they didn't how like... Okay, let me just... Oh my god, can I stop being interrupted? Seriously, oh wait. Oh wait, I accidentally did that. Okay, and you know, like, basically, I had a idea where they put Paper Mario on the Wii U and Luigi was one of the characters that you can actually play as. He was, like, like one of the partners. That you can play as in the level. You know, I'm gonna save my progress right here. But you know, um, you know, I gotta look up more about this new game, um, Mario and Luigi Paper Emergency. I, I really forgot what it's called. I knew it had, it just had something to do with paper. I can just tell you guys that. Okay, you know, what? bam, bam, taking my. F oh my God! Even the fire isn't doing anything to them. You know, what? let me see if Carrie can do something. Okay. Wow, so I can just jump on them, but the fire will not do absolute anything. And we got a mango! Um, let me see. I don't think I need the shell shock. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I don't even know how to, those shell shock, um, items actually really even work. So, anyway. Oh my god, you know, it just seems like, nah. I was just gonna say, it seems like, since I'm in chapter 5, we're basically at the end of the game, but we're not really at the end of the game yet. Um, you know, it's just chapter 5, actually, we're like getting more and more into the game. That's basically what I feel about chapter 5, but you know what, let me just see, throw out this kill mango, and I'm just gonna use a catch card. Well, actually, I want to get a catch card of that, I mean, I, I, okay, let me just talk. I want to get a card of that 
curse thingy right there. I think these are... Oh my god, no! My mango! Uh, I think these are the ones that actually send you all the way back to flip site, so stay away from them. And, you know, I'm not going to even be playing as Bowser anymore. I'm going to play as Mario. Because this is Super Paper Mario, not Super Paper Bowser. You know, I'm guessing that the reason, uh, or like the fact that they decided to put Bowser and like make him as a helpful character in the Paper Mario series is from Super Mario RPG back when, you know, they used Bowser as, you know, he, he was one of the characters to actually help Mario out with his adventure. And you know, for all the Mario haters who think that Peach is just, you know, basically what Mario was always after and just always saving, you know, in this game, he doesn't really even say his Peach. And, you know, in all of, every single Mario game, Mario doesn't technically always save his Peach. What about, okay, you know, I, I'll, I'll begin this discussion in, the discussion in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to paperize that like button as well. So that's it for today. Come next time for the next episode of Let's Play Super Paper Mario for Nintendo Wii. And I will see you all later.